Hi, everybody. My name is Nancy. I'd like to uh, take this time to introduce myself. I've been on YouTube for a long time, and I have a channel, but it was just like my pets and family and stuff. But now I've been really into crocheting and following everybody's channels and especially doing tutorials. Anyway, so what happened was I found out my son's wife, my son and his wife were expecting a baby. And I said, you know, I really, really want to start crocheting again. And so I went on a video somewhere on YouTube and I made a washcloth that was kind of warped looking. And I knew a girl at my church that crochets and sells stuff. And I showed it to her and it was a mess, but she said it was beautiful. And basically she encouraged me and she started, a, they started like a little group class of people to learn how to crochet. We were making washcloths and we were going to send them to Operation Christmas Child. So what happened was I made a ton load of washcloths. And in time, they got a lot better. They, they started out kind of warped looking, you know. The video, like now, here's a halfway decent washcloth that I, I did with like the little scallop. So after I did like probably over 100 washcloths, I mean, I tried different stitches and stuff like that. I uh, decided, oh, finally, I'm going to try to do a blanket because it was getting closer to the time for the baby to come. And, of course, we knew it was a boy, so I went out to uh, A.C. Moore. So I have an A.C. Moore by me, I have a Joann's by me, and I have a Michael's, and I also have a Walmart. So that's basically where I get my yarn, and occasionally I frequent the Goodwill and uh, the Salvation Army just to see if I could find anything. I, I call it treasure hunting. Occasionally I find some yarn there. So I did attempt to make a baby sweater for the baby. I don't have a picture of it nearby, but it came out way too, it came out okay, but it came out way too small. I guess she, the tutorial she did, I didn't buy the pattern. I didn't know how to follow patterns. I just followed the tutorial and it was really small and he was over eight pounds and I put it on him once and it was like, you know, up too high on him. And, but he looked cute in it anyway. And I did make one of those, the fluffy blanket yarns, I made a little blanket and I made another one that I found on the crochet crowd. And then I didn't make anything else again a long, for a long time because that he came, he's, on, he's going on too. So, so then I just kind of quit crocheting for a while because I was busy babysitting, got involved with being a grandma. And, uh, and now, I'm, since January, I started, I thought that I was going to pick up some crocheting around October. I had surgery, and I thought maybe I'd, while I was recovering and I couldn't babysit, that I'd be crocheting some, and I didn't. <laughs> I guess I guess I wasn't up to it. It was a eight-week recovery. I had open-heart surgery. I'm doing great now. Back to babysitting, but the baby started going to daycare, so... Around December, I went into the Goodwill and I found some yarn. <laughs> and it was like brand new yarn. And I attempted to make uh, a blank. I made a blanket, but it had like the, the tinsel stuff in it. And I don't, I think my daughter-in-law thought it was a little scratchy, but whatever. So then I started, you know, picking up yarn and looking at tutorials again. And I made a few shawls. So you can see the one. This is the virus meets granny and this one came out good but the first one I did I messed up I got confused because they don't really do the whole show with you you have to figure out you know what you have to repeat they only bring you so far but uh, I'll show you what I'm making right now I don't want to show you everything in one day I'm finally trying a corner to corner blanket So it's got teal and navy and orange. What happened was I went into, I went into this uh, Salvation Army and they had a whole tub of yarn and it was a Wednesday and everything was 50% off. And it had all orange and all teal, but mostly teal, thank God. I'm glad I didn't get stuck with 
as much orange as I did teal. So I had, I think it had like eight orange and 12 teal. And it was, ended up being $10 with the 50% off. So I got 20 skeins of yarn for like 50 cents each. So, I mean, how could you turn that down? I love a good deal. So when I came home at first, I said, what am I going to make with all this orange and all this teal? So I attempted to make some hats. I went a little hat crazy. I put, made this at a baby, but it's already, it's just too tight on him. And then I made this one. <laughs> and I made one with the navy, with the orange. And another one. Some of them are really big. I actually live in South Florida now. I'm from New York. So we don't need hats, really. Maybe the baby will wear a hat. Around December, we might get a cool day or two, but it's like almost like summer here all year round. This one I made. Okay. But that's about it for the hat. I did make some other hats and scarves for my son that lives in New York, for him and his girlfriend. And uh, so really, I, 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 we don't need sweaters here. Like the shawls are good for church and the blankets are good for air conditioning. You know, and when you sleep, they like to keep it cold. And uh, that's all. So, and here's a, here another time I went to the, the Goodwill and I found like two skeins of this yarn. And then I realized that it wasn't big enough. I mean, I didn't have enough yarn. So I, I grabbed a blue because this had like, this had a lot of pretty colors. It had some pink in it and purple. And I knew it was a boy. So I keep this one at my house, but most of the blankets my son has, you know, they have at their house and he's sleeping with them now. But, uh, so, um, what else? Also, I, I found these, I found this a creative grandma and I started doing some of these washcloths. And when I go to give it to people, they say, it's too pretty to use it as a washcloth. They want to use it as a doily or something to put their pot on. <laughs> But I really like them. They're pretty and it doesn't take me long to do. So I guess in between doing that, I might do a washcloth. Right now I don't have multiple whips because, you know, I kind of like to finish what I start. I really don't want to have too many things that are going on at the same time. Also, I went to the Dollar Tree and they had, I got this one. They had some yarn. It was all kind of rumors online about them having yarn. So I, uh, it's called Red Heart Sachet Sequins. So I bought a bunch of it, not realizing what it was, thinking, oh, I'm, I'm going to make anything. I bought, I bought like five of three colors. And then I realized all I could really do with it is a scarf. I don't have little girls. So, I mean, I heard that people put them on pocketbooks and that they, Put them on skirts but i did make made myself the blue color it's up there there it is and then i made i, I went back and i found two blocks and i bought the two blocks because black goes with everything and this one i found in one of my treasure hunting shops and i, I like it it has a lot of colors i think they're like i'm not sure they're in style anymore but I wore one on Mother's Day. I thought it looked pretty. I wore the I wore this blue one. I made a red one for my daughter, my uh, daughter-in-law's mom, and I made my daughter-in-law the teal color. And uh, that's all. I do have other virus shawls. I did a regular virus. Oop. A gray one. It's very soft. And I made a poncho. And it's also virus style. And I don't remember exactly where the video is. I have to go back and look at my other channel because I have it saved. So, that, you know, because you really can't walk around with these uh, shawls. They'll like slide off of you. Like if I'm walking around, you know, it's one thing when you're sitting in church, one minute you're hot, one minute you're cold. The air condition is blowing really cold. So like, you know, the shawl is easy to take off. But like this, you could just like, it doesn't fall off. It's more like a jacket. Thing. 
And I made one, a black one for my daughter-in-law. She likes to wear it at work because of the air conditioning. And, you know, she can move around. She's sitting at her desk. I did follow Fiber Spider. I made a, a pineapple shawl in purple, like purple. It was a little confusing. I probably would have never attempted this last year. And then I had gone to Walmart one day and they had a sale. Well, they had a clearance on this Will Ease cakes. Now, I wouldn't have bought it because it says it's not machine washable, but it was a dollar. So I bought like four of three different colors. And then I bought, one second, it's here. I bought four of these velvet locks and I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> and I don't have any little girls, but I don't know. Maybe I could make a little scarf out of it or something. I have no, no clue. All I knew was, was a dollar, you know, on clearance. I, I went back the next day and it was all gone. Somebody must have bought the whole lot and it was a ton. You know, I bought enough, I thought. And you could get carried away with these sales. Then I followed another video from Fiber Spider. I like his tutorials with the butterflies. I mean, I like the self, uh, the self, you know, with the color changing by itself. The uh, the purple pineapple shawl and the and the turquoise uh, poncho were both made with red heart ombre, and I really like that because the, the colors gradually change, and it's not as I mean, this is pretty too, but those were you know, it was a little more subtle. I did make another, I made quite a few virus shawls. I've made so many shawls. I mean, I'm sure that you've made more shawls than me, probably. But I was like, I'm going to take a break from the shawls. That's why I went to the corner to corner, because people were talking about it. And I was like, it doesn't look that difficult. Anyway, I made this. This was mandala. And this one. Whoops, whoops. I forgot the name of it, but it's also a, a video I found on Fiber Spider the tutorial. I mean, it hangs really, it's a number three, so it took a little longer than the number. I mean, the first couple of shawls I did were number four yarns, and this is number three, so they just take more rows, so they, and I like it to be long enough that it's covering your butt, you know. I don't like those shawls that they're like scarves. And this was the first one. I made a mistake, but you know, it still looks nice. It was supposed to be Vigris meets Granny, but kind of messed up. And I didn't go enough, so I ended up, because I didn't have enough for one yarn. It was an experiment, but you know, it's still pretty. Anyway, that's what I've been doing so far. And like I said, I do have a couple of, I did this one blanket. I try to do granny squares. This is the, one of the blankets I keep at home for the baby. If he takes a nap here. And this was my, you know, my attempt of a granny square blanket. I kind of didn't like having to sew them all together. I like being done at the end, but I might attempt it again. It's a pretty good sock. It's, you know, it's like big crib size because he is a toddler now. Anyway, I also, I found a bunch of this one day where I was, uh, I got them for a dollar a piece. I got two of white. This is the Hometown USA. It's a number six. So a black, I got two blacks, two whites and two grays. So it's a heavy yarn. I mean, I could make a nice 
hats go off again for my son and his girlfriend and uh, give it to them for next year because you don't need hats and scarves and sweaters where I live. It's basically like 90 degrees all year long. I mean, I'm originally from New York City, so so basically it was really, really cold up there. And I've been in, the, in Florida now for almost about four years. And I'm enjoying it. But now that I'm into crocheting, I guess, it, you know, there are people here that crochet. Anyway, I really enjoy crocheting. It, it relieves a lot of stress. I kind of stopped biting my nails. They, they don't grow great anyway, but I used to you know, have a nervous habit. So a, a lot of people have said it's very relaxing and relieves stress. Not that I was under a lot of stress, but I really enjoy it and enjoy trying new things. And I have like a whole list of things I want to do. But I'm lucky to put out, you know, maybe one big project in a week. I mean, I didn't start that this corner to corner blanket. Like this would be my third day, but today I got a little, I was out. So I barely touched it today, but I did it two days worth of work. And I'd like it to be, you know, pretty decent size because he is getting bigger. And he, he seems to like all my blankets, the little guy. <laughs> He's so cute. Anyway, so that's the story. It's nice meeting everybody. And I hope you come visit me and I'll visit you. I have a lot of people that I'm subscribed to already and I resubscribe to them on my new channel. And uh, let's have a beautiful day. I mean, it is uh, May 17th at 8 p.m. And I need to get back to the to my corner to corner blanket. <laughs> well, okay, stop by, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and uh, I'd like to uh, get, to, you get to know me, I get to know you, and maybe eventually you never know, you never know if a tutorial could come out of me, maybe not this year, but I'm hoping to uh, attempt more new, new projects. Okay, you have a great day. Great talking to you.